Hey everyone, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look right here. I wanted to do a smoky wing and a red lip, so that's what we got going on today. I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to thumbs it up if you do, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and then what else, what else, what else? Also, I have a giveaway right now going on on my Instagram, Model Crystal A. I will also leave that link down below. I'm giving away all four of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminators. <laughs> I know, right? All four of them along with the brush for them as well. All the rules for the giveaway are below the giveaway photo. So if you want to enter, go ahead and head over to my Instagram. You gotta be in it to win it. That was so cheesy. <laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let's get started. Hey everyone, so first off I'm going to start off by setting my base. I'm going to take Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that all over my entire eye area using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Next I'm going to take Birkin. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow and I'm going to run that back and forth through the crease using that same Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Next I'm going to take Soft Peach. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow as well, and I'm going to blend that through my upper crease. This is going to be our transition color, and it's going to really diffuse that edge. Now I'm going to take Red Earth. This is also an Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow, and I'm going to be applying this directly in my crease, but I'm going to concentrate it on more of the outer third of my crease, and then diffuse it towards the inner area of my crease. I'm going to be doing that using my MAC 217 Tapered Blending Brush. I'm then going to be switching brushes using my Bedellium Tools number 783 brush. This one's a little bit more dense and more domed, and this is going to really get into that crease. I really want to concentrate it on that outer portion of my crease because I don't have much definition there, and this is really going to help me get that. Now I'm just going to go back in with Birkin on a Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to go ahead and diffuse that edge. I really love using this brush for diffusing my edges because it's not super fluffy and it's nice and tapered so it really gets the job done. Moving on to the brow bone, I'm going to be taking Vanilla Bean once again and I'm going to be using a Sonia Kashuk number 103 flat shadow brush to apply it. Now I'm going to be taking Noir from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette and using my Bedellium Tools number 777 brush, I'm going to go ahead and start carving out a wing. This is going to be my diffused kind of base, so I'm going to go ahead and do this first and then we're going to move on to winged liner. Moving on to our cream liner, I'm going to be using the Waterproof Cream Color by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the color Jet, which is basically black, and I'm going to be applying that using my Bedellium Tools number 708 Angled Liner Brush. This works amazing for applying gel liner. If you guys are interested in these brushes, I will go ahead and leave a link down below for you guys. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and start off by lining my eyes, doing a basic wing. I want to apply my wing probably about half the size than I would normally apply it, just so I have some room to diffuse it and blend it upwards. I'm also going to go ahead and clean up my winged liner with some concealer just so we can get it nice and sharp, sharp enough to cut it. Next I'm going to be picking up the color Noir from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. I think I just dropped something. And anyway, I'm going to be taking my Bedellium Tools number 716. And this is more of like a pencil brush. And I'm going to go ahead and start diffusing the edge of that liner into the shadow that I put down before. This is going to give me a nice diffusion and gradient effect. So that's what we are doing right here. I'm also going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the color Starlight and I'm going to be using that to highlight my inner corners with this Coastal Sense Domed Shadow Brush. Mm -hmm. 
For the waterline, I'm going to be using this MAC Eye Coal in the color Fascinating, which is just a white eyeliner pencil, just so I can really brighten up the waterline and make my eyes look a little bit larger. I'm also going to apply some black gel liner to the outer third of my lower lash line just once again to make my eyes look a little bit larger. And lastly for shadow I'm going to once again take the color Birkin from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be applying that to my lower lash line with the Sigma E30 pencil brush. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Mango Rock Mascara. I have been loving what this does to my lower lashes, so that's what we're going to be using today. And for lashes, I'm going to be using my Coco Lashes in Goddess. When I'm wearing falsies, which is pretty much all the time, I normally like to pinch my lashes together just to make sure that my falsies blend in with my natural lashes very well. Now for that glow, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the color Starlight. This highlighter is Gorgina. I'm obsessed. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the high points of my cheeks, right above the arch of my brow, the tip of my nose, and my chin. I did want to apply it to my cupid's bow, but I totally forgot in this video. I did afterwards. And can I just say that this brush is thebomb.com, so if you guys get the highlighters, make sure you get the brush because it's amazing and it applies them so well. Now for that classic red lip, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Seraphine. This is from her new 2015 fall collection and I love it. There's just something about wearing a red lip that makes you feel like a woman and I'm obsessed. So that's what we're going to be doing today and yeah, I hope you guys like this look. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Instagram. Ugh. <laughs>